Welcome to Tech in 10, where you'll get technology tips in 10 minutes or less. My name is Bethany and I'm with the Vestavia Hills Library in the Forest. Let's get started. Google Docs is a free online word processor that lets you create and format documents. You can even work with other people on the same document in real time. It works with Google Drive, Google's cloud service for online file storage and synchronization. To get started, go to docs.google.com. Log into your Google account with your username and password. This is Google Docs Home. Here you can start a new document from scratch, start from a template, or continue working on a recently opened document. When starting a new document, name the file here. Changes are automatically saved. If you would like to move your file into a specific folder within your drive, you must use the Move icon. You can put it in a specific folder you already have or create a new folder. You can always star your file to make it easier to find in your Google Drive. To access your Google Drive, click on the Google Home icon. Then choose your menu, and then Drive. The toolbar is similar to other word processors with commands for changing your font, font size, text alignment, and more. Go to File, Page Setup to change your page orientation paper size, page color, or margins. To insert page numbers, go to Insert, Page Numbers. You can also use the Insert tab menu to add other things like images, tables, headers and footers, and more. Use the Explore feature here at the bottom to see related topics, images, and research to what's in your document. You can also select something in your document you want to explore and right-click. Feeling lazy? Type with your voice. Go to Tools, Voice Typing, and then click the microphone to start speaking. Follow us on Facebook to keep up to date with all the great things happening at your local library. Period. You can use the rulers to manually adjust your margins as well. Use the share button to send your file to others. You can add an email address or send your file as a link. Choose whether others can view, comment, or edit your file.
Google Docs makes it very easy to collaborate. If you allowed editing or commenting when you shared your file, you can see those users make changes to your document live in real time. Up to 100 people can work on a Google Doc at the same time. If you need to look at an older version of your file, click on the last edit message. Use the arrow to expand sections as needed to see all the different versions of your file. You can rename your different versions, make copies of older versions, or restore the document from an older version. A new feature called Compare Documents helps you see changes in your Google Docs over time. To use this feature, go to Tools, Compare Documents. Select the document you want to compare the first one with. It creates a new file that's now called the comparison file and shows the changes as suggestions. Another helpful feature is suggestion mode. Go to editing and change it to suggesting. All changes you make to the document become suggestions that the owner can reject or accept. This works well when you are working on someone else's file and you don't want to alter the content. The owner can then choose to accept or reject the suggestions. Go to File, Download to download your file to your device in a variety of formats. You can also email your files as an attachment and convert the file format there. Thanks for watching. Check out the Vestavia Hills Library in the Forest on YouTube for more technology videos. And don't forget to like us on Facebook to stay up to date with all the happenings at your library.